Hi there, it's Liz, and in this video I'm going to show you how to respond to the Google Classroom um, things that we've been doing and how to make this really interactive between you and your students. We're going to look at how to respond to comments, how to view those question responses, and then how to view assignment responses and the things they've turned in. So when I come to my classroom, let's start with the materials post where I had a discussion. Okay, so I posted a discussion question. I had a student respond. Now for the teacher, you have this reply button. So I can reply specifically to this student, okay? Students aren't gonna have that, I don't think. I didn't see it. So students don't do that. They could probably type a plus sign and the student's email address if they know it. But anyways, you can reply directly to a person. You can also delete their response if it's not appropriate or if it's like, 20 emojis, which you know students do, or you can mute that user if they're um, needing some time to take a break from commenting, okay? But you have some options to make this really conversational, okay? That's really most of what there is with the materials post. You can also, hang on, we're going to discard that response. You can also see it in classwork. You've got, let me turn this off, you've got your materials post here. You can see that there's a comment. So you can scroll down, see what it is, and see the whole post this way. Okay, so that was from the classworks. I keep from the classwork section that it's right here. Okay, now the um, question we did the question, which was how many things can you think of that are purple? I assigned it to one student. One student's turned it in. I can view the question and I can see everyone who's turned it in over here, and I can see who hasn't turned it in. When I click here, here's their answer that I can reply to, or I can do a private comment. Now, here's why this says class comment. Remember when I turned on, students can see each other's responses? If I had that off, this wouldn't be a class comment, okay? But since students can see each other's responses in this task, Anything I comment back to the original response, everyone else is going to be able to see that, okay? So they're pretty good about putting class and private to help you see the difference. Now, if I want to respond to this student privately, it's right here, okay? Because the student, when they turned it in, wrote out an answer and then thought of one more thing they wanted to add, okay? So consider using this question. Maybe you find a, um, what do they call it in New Zealand? A collection. A collection of articles and you say hey choose an article from this collection choose one that's interesting to you and then respond by telling me what article did you read and what's the primary claim and what's the evidence to support I don't know think of um, a prompt you want to give them they can respond to that here in the question and then you can have a private conversation with them about it okay so here's where I see who's turned them in who hasn't yet and then I can reply to that question. The nice thing here is that it's not creating another file in their drive. Their response is just right here, and it's really easy to click and respond, click on the next one and respond, click on the next one and respond, all right? So that's the question. Now the third thing that we did was an assignment. And the assignment was, remember, the art slides, where I was saying create a Google slide deck. I can see that no one's turned it in yet. Okay, I went over as test user and um, started it, but I haven't turned it in. But when I go to view assignment, look what I can see. I can see their slides. So I can click in, I can up their slides, and I can see they haven't done anything yet. Okay, maybe they've already posted one piece of work. I can add a comment right here that. I can just type a comment to say, hey, this is a great piece, don't forget to tell me about, or I really like your thinking, it also makes me wonder if, whatever. But you can have this private dialogue with them in the, in the Google Slides. Now, notice this pull down. Remember I was here, I opened the first student's slides that took me here. This is, you'll notice the Google Classroom, this is a Google Classroom view of slides. If I had anyone else, I can just go to the next person's slides. I can just flip through all of them and leave some comments. Super, super simple to see, okay? I can click on the arrow to go to the next one. 
it's telling me I haven't saved this comment, and that's fine. Okay, do you get the idea? Now, one more important piece when you're using the assignment. I'm here. I opened this student. I'm leaving some comments. Do you see return right here? I need to return this to them so they can continue working on it. Okay, I can also do that from right here. I can click here and I can return it. The reason it's grayed out is because it's not turned in. So what Google Classroom does is it switches the ownership. So the student owns it and they can edit it. As soon as they turn it in, the teacher owns it. The student can't edit it anymore, okay? So you want to make sure you return it if you want them to continue working on it, okay? The student also has the option to unsubmit. So if they turn it in and go, oh, wait, I wanted to add something else, they can just click unsubmit to work on it. You can see in a regular school year setting how this is relevant. Um, right now, maybe not so much, but I want you to know if they're saying I can't edit it, you don't need to email me and ask me why. It's probably because they turned it in and you just need to return it to them. So you would be able to click right here to everyone who had turned it in and return it. I don't have any turned in right now, but there's the classroom way of doing an assignment. Okay, I think that covers the three. It keeps wanting me to discard because I have something typed in the comment that I didn't save. So we looked at the materials, we looked at the question of the day, and we looked at the assignment. I totally encourage you, if you're not sure what to do, try it out. Tell your students, hey, I'm not sure about this. The truth is your students may have already used Google Classroom. They might know better than you what to do and what you're nervous about. You don't really need to be nervous about because the students will be able to take it and run with it. And then, um, you know, Get good at just reading the screen, looking at it, trying to figure it out. Google a question. There is so much help just online. Whenever you have the question, Google your question because Google Apps are pretty good at having help support. All right, you guys, have fun with it. This is going to be a great one for you to um, learn.